And we're back in Norfolk, Virginia for the 2018 Mid-Eastern Athletic Conference Football Media Day. We've heard from the players already, some of the best HBCU FCS caliber athletes you're going to see in the country. Well, now we're going to turn it over to a new page, and let's talk to the men that are in charge of these young men in their daily lives, the head coaches. And joining me first, the head coach from Savannah State, Eric Rayburn. Coach Rayburn, man, I was just getting to know you, just getting to like you, and you're leaving us. I mean, that's the first thing you got to talk about. Savannah State will be their final season of play as a member of the Mid-East Athletic Conference. How do you and your team take that? Well, it's, it's disappointing for sure. I think um, I know our coaching staff and players enjoy being part of the MEAC. I think it's a great conference. You know, the opportunity to compete for a chance to play in a celebration bowl. Um, you know, so leaving, you know, for all those reasons kind of make it disappointing. And, and from a football perspective, me just being the analyst, I thought y'all were definitely trending in the right direction. You went from a program that didn't win a conference game to y'all started winning multiple conference games. How close are you guys, and would you have been to, to getting to where you ultimately set out as your goal? Yeah, we, we definitely feel like we're improving. Um, you know, I think our play on the field showed that as well. Um, but uh, obviously we have a long way to go to catch the, you know, the A&Ts of the world uh, uh, and the rest of the teams at the top of the conference. But uh, we feel like we're making, making progress, and, and hopefully we'll, we'll take another step forward this year. This upcoming football season, I just think y'all have an opportunity to play spoiler for somebody. I'm telling everybody, spoiler alert when you take on Savannah State. <laughs> spoiler alert. If you don't know, Howard's seen it, fam, you seen it, but the, look out when you go to Savannah State. What, what are you telling your team for this upcoming football season? What's your approach for the season? Yeah, I, I guess for us, it's, it's our last chance to, um, to prove that we can compete in the, at the MEAC uh, level. And, and uh, so, you know, obviously we thought we, when I took the job, I thought we'd have, you know, three, four, five years to, you know, turn things around. And uh, uh, now, now we, we got to do it in three. So, uh, so it's, it's a lot of pressure, certainly, but uh, I know our guys are excited to try and change the culture, uh, the football culture at Savannah State. And, and uh, you know, th this is our, our last chance to, to kind of prove that uh, we are worthy of, of playing in the MEAC Conference. Is this your most talented team you've had since you've been there? It is. Um, it's it's the most talented. It's also the most uh, committed. You know, this is the best off season we've had since I've been there. You know, this is the first off season where I'd say, you know, we had the type of commitment that it takes to have a chance to you know to, to compete uh, in our conference uh, as good as it is. So I, I'm excited. Obviously, we'll still be young, you know, but um, you know all those young players. Uh, that we've played the last two years, they'll, they'll they'll at least have some experience under their belt, some games under their belt. Gotcha. Well, the last thing we'll do, we'll wrap this up. Talk about Savannah State, your style of play, and your expectations for this year. Yeah, obviously, you know, we, we want to continue to improve uh, at, the, at the line of scrimmage. You know, we uh, both sides of the football. You know, we, we need to run the ball better uh, if if we're going to compete in this conference, and uh, and certainly we need to do a better job of stopping the run. Um, I, I think we've. We've made strides in that in those two areas uh, last year, uh, but we, we need to get ourselves in the top three or four teams in the conference uh, to have any chance uh, at competing week in, week out. I've said it before, this program is definitely trending in the right direction. Hate to see you go, but you know what? Go out there, when the MEAC something tells me, you'll be back. <laughs> they may say stop okay. the break. So uh, continued yeah. success to you all, or more success to you all, Savannah State. Coach Rayburn, been a pleasure. We wish nothing but the best for the Tigers from here moving forward in Thank the future. You. Next, coming up from the MEAC Media Day here, we'll be joined by Delaware State new head coach, Rob Milstead, when we return. <laughs> 